Let's see that. The wet method is to let the extra labor of breathing is much slower as the extra water needs to be disposed well. It's not worth it for just an extra 5%. So overall, I would use the dry method and use the huge stick in every access and save by sulfate. You can give the best yield the high concentration and also use the low use labor. Now, some additional notes before I go. A simple way to test if you have an extra gas and didn't want to be wondering grab along the agent off the shelf is to react it with copper metal. The copper metal will dissolve and produce the characteristic orange brown haze of it dioxide. While some other chemicals will also have copper, extremely few will also generate haze dioxide other than it's natural. Moving on, the orange brown haze we seen in the higher concentration of acid is negative dioxide that resulted from the decomposition of nitric acid at high temperatures. While this also occurs at lower concentrations, the nitrogen dioxide reacts with water to reproduce nitric acid. At higher concentrations, though, the reversible chemical reaction doesn't take with completion. Anyway, the actual amount of nitrogen dioxide is very small, and there's very little point in removing it since when you use nitric acid or oxidizer reactions like the and copper, you're going to make nitrogen dioxide regardless. But if you really want to remove it because you have a special reaction, or because you want nitrogen acid for collection, you can reinstall the acid at lower pressure to reduce the cooling temperature and also reduce the composition. You can also remove the nitrogen dioxide by directly delivering in small amounts of nitrogen dioxide, ammonia, and nitrogen peroxide. I'm using nitrogen peroxide here. Just keep adding a small portion until the nitrogen dioxide is gone. Hydrogen peroxide forces the nitrogen dioxide to convert into nitrogen acid. Ammonia and urea help it slowly and convert it into nitrogen gas. The drawback of these methods is that the ammonia and the peroxide will add water to the grass and if you overshoot and add too much ammonia or urea, the excess reagent will form a liquid nitrogen that remains in grass. So you'll need to decide how to dump it. Anyway, so that's how you make nitric acid using free nitrates and some of my salt. Thanks for watching. Special thank you to all my supporters on Patreon for making these sites videos possible with the donations and the donations. If you're not currently a patron, but like to support the community. Thank you.
This makes a salt acid a vital alternative to sulfuric acid and sodium bisulfate acid, and making nitric acid. Oxalic acid is much less restricted, and I find the filtering process much easier to handle and clean with calcium sulfate acids when using sulfuric acid. And when the debate takes the gas with calcium sulfate byproducts can attack, it's actually awful to take sulfate here with. Many amateurs go to the trouble and expense of converting calcium nitrate into sodium or potassium nitrate, but they don't have to deal with calcium sulfate. This oxalic acid process is a feedback. Now, personally, I don't use sulfate in this method for my nitrate acid just because of cost, and I can get large quantities of sodium bisulfate. But if you can get large quantities of oxalic acid, then this oxalic based process might be more interactive than the nitric acid, as calcium nitrate also exists. The only major drawback is that that doesn't produce any nitric acid directly, as it will not dissolve the chemical in water first. But I've already shown how to upgrade nitric acid to a more than two nitric acid in the previous video, and it's going to be a symptom. Now, so you may be asking if you can get excess of oxalic acid in the middle of the field. Maybe oxalic acid is the cheap reason for you, and calcium nitrate is the expensive one. So I gave it a try, and used 300 grams of calcium monoxide straight along with 300 grams of oxalic acid. I went through the same process of putting it down and spilling it, but I noticed that it was producing a lot of nitrogen dioxide as a spill. A lot more than when calcium nitrate was used in it. What happened was the actual oxalic acid was reacting with the nitric acid hydrochloric and decomposing it. I found the yield to be 67%. Already after I accounted for the nitrate. So the process is likely just as effective as the acid of calcium nitrate, with the decomposing oxalic acid used as the yield standard. So the best results may be using exactly the metric quantities in the units for a slight access of calcium nitrate to get the most nitric acid for its cost. Anyway, that was how we make nitric acid from calcium nitrate from oxalic acid. Surprisingly effective alternative for your acid. Thanks for watching. Special thank you to all my supporters on Patreon and Biggie. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Street Kids here. What I'm saying here is a collection of stuff that Mrs. Street Tips has been. Hunting for the last couple weeks, I'm going to do a uh, flying drill on the gold that's in this material. And uh, as I do this, I'd like to talk about a couple of things here. Number one is uh, I've had people try to ask questions about refining on my eBay messaging system. As I pointed out before, I cannot answer questions about refining on my eBay messaging system. If you want to ask questions, uh, make sure and ask those questions in the comment section of the video on my channel. I try to read every comment and answer every question. because eBay does not allow me to do that kind of stuff on their system. So if you have questions about replaying, just go ahead and ask, ask those questions.
oils complete. That blue liquid is going to be full.
all of them there. We can pull off the top of these cords. We've got our copper under there.